Hello and welcome to another tutorial. This is on more of a concept rather than a specific tool and the concept is called a hyperdoc. Now a hyperdoc is a digital document which allows you to create a single document where students have all of the resources they need to do a lesson. Very helpful in these uncertain times. We're not sure when we might be actually able to be in front of somebody, maybe to deliver a lecture. This can be used in a face-to-face -face environment as well as an online environment, and it allows the students to get real involved in their learning. It's helpful because we may have the need to provide fewer lectures. We may not be able to be in front of someone all the time. It's very flexible and adjustable. If you create a hyperdoc and you decide you'd like to update it, change it, modify it, if there was a portion of it that didn't work that well, you have the ability to go in and change it before its next use. Very flexible, very adjustable. It's reusable. So once you create it, you can use it multiple times. And it's also multimodal. All kinds of different stuff can be added to a hyperdoc. You can add things like links to articles, formative assessments, videos, and links to some of the other tools that I've done tutorials on before. Things like Kahoot and Padlet, Flipgrid, various types of quiz tools or assessment tools as well. So you can create a hyperdoc in a number of different ways using a number of different tools. I find the easy ways to do it is using something like a Google Doc or a Google Slide. I happen to have a Google Slide created here. I happen to like slides better myself, but you can also do this in a Google Doc. And so basically I have just created this six slide Google slide presentation. I've included a number of different hyper doc components in it, as well as just some images for a little bit more visual interest. And I'll point those out as I go along. So here's our first slide. I just have an image title, interest rates, they are not static, they do change what causes this. So a student would get this particular document, and it's basically a self-paced assignment for them. So we would move on, obviously they would use, be using the present mode and just advancing the slide presentation, but I'm just going to show you by clicking on the slide to the left. So objectives of this lesson, I think it's always a good idea whenever you're going to create some type of assignment is we have the why and the what and the purpose and all that type of thing. So we have three specific objectives for this particular lesson. And I created this lesson probably in about 30 minutes or less to give you an indication. Um, and again, I just did it for the purpose of this tutorial. You probably want to maybe add a few more things to it. You may want to maybe break lessons up into different components based on your key learning objectives for that particular week. So then here is the next slide. What is interest? And we have some verbiage here. Again, again this, this is just, just an image. image. This is, this is the video, video that was brought, brought, brought in and you tell the students to watch this watch video. This video, video, is video is on supply and demand. demand. So maybe so they maybe know they what supply and demand is from, from, from a course, course. course. Uh, but, but maybe they, they want to do a new refresher. Maybe they don't, they don't know anything about this. this. So there's plenty of opportunities here to expose those with other information. information. There's lots of things that you can put in here. Again, this is just a video. Then we talk about interest about rates, rates and change. change. This can have this an impact on our return on savings as well as, well as borrowing. Borrow. And then we and have an example, have an example here. here. Uh, an article, uh, article for them to work through. Here, here, here are some factors that influence your mortgage interest rates. rates. And so that, so that allows, allows the pause, pause and kind of take a look at what stuff, stuff in action. action. So as we move on to the next slide. The role, the role of the Federal Reserve. Reserve. What is the Federal, what is the Federal Reserve? Reserve? And what, and what does, it, does it do? 
Yeah, this is just, just, just an image. image. But we have, we have a, video a video here about, about, about the Federal, Federal Reserve. 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 And then after, after watching, watching this, this video, video, take a short, take a short quiz, quiz about the Federal Reserve. Reserve. Now, this is just a quiz, quiz that, that I can read it in form. So I'm not going to show you how to do that here. here. I do I have, have little four four tutorials, tutorials out there. there. But basically, basically, there's a way for you to create a form in Google Forms and set it up as a quiz. And when you are all done, all done, you will take, we'll that, take that link that you see to, 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 to this, this item, item area, area right here. 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 So this is the this whole, is whole idea, idea of a hyperdocus throughout, throughout all, of all of these uh, areas, areas of your of slides, slides or of your doc. doc. You have, you have links, links that are highlighted. That are highlighted. These links are all, all hyperlinked hyper -link. to something specific, specific to, to an, an article, to another doc document, to some type of assessment. To video videos, to audio, to audio files, or to, or to other, other specific tools. tools. So this so is how, how interest rates are determined and what affects them. Of course, they understand. So this would be a link, link, link to that, to that particular article, article or, or item. item. In this or article, article you, can you can see how interest rates are determined and how that Fed plays a role. This, actually, 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 now that, now that I think about it, this is a video right here. I just linked it this way as opposed to having the little video show. And it just, and it just, and just depends on what you want your specific slide to look like. As we, as we move, move down to the last slide, slide here, here, there's a relationship, there's a relationship between inflation and your interest rates. rates. So, so this is, this is just kind of a refresher on what inflation is. If you don't know what inflation is, or you can remember, or the student, or the student needs a little refresher, refresher you can put those in the exam here. Yeah, I'm as well. Or or this or this click on the far on the on the on article to more. more. This is just, just yeah, an image. And then, and then let's, let's check, check your understanding of interest rates. rates. Click the link to access the quiz. And then there's the there's the pin that you need to get into the quiz. So, so again, this again, is this is just an example of using one of those tools. tools. The, um, I think I, I think I have, I have a. Oh, actually, oh, actually this inflation, inflation here is actually a Quizlet. It's a quiz about, about what inflation is. And you got a couple of questions about the inflation. And so um, another another example, as is this one here, of is using some soft or third party web 2.0 tool, tool that you may already, already have some stuff created and you just want to kind of aggregate it, collect it all, and put it in one thing. I happen to like using the Google tools, specifically the slides, because I like them to be able to work through a slideshow. Uh, they have access to this link so they can use it all the time. They can go back and review the material maybe prior to an exam. Um, and obviously this is something that can be done at different times. If you have somebody who misses class, they can do this later. And uh, the links to this entire HyperDoc can be shared either through an email or loaded up into the LMS into a discussion thread or as an assignment, uh, however you would like to do that. So just a little something to um, maybe help you as we head back to school and some of the challenges that we're going to face. Again, this is a hyperdoc.